talk about from the dot product section is work. And this is the work that you all have learned in physics, but we're going to do it a little bit in a, of a calculus manner. I believe you guys learned this before. The way to calculate work is forced times distance. Yeah? That sound familiar? To my knowledge, this only applies when the force is directed along the line of motion. Is that true? OK, good. I should tell you one thing that I didn't tell you before. Calc 3 and differential equations that you take next semester rely heavily on physics. I'm going to follow that up by telling you I've never taken a physics class in my life. So I'm not great with physics. OK, so if you have any physics questions, don't ask me. Go ask one of the physics teachers, OK? But I think that's right. And some of you said it is. Here's what we're doing now. You have this vector, P, and it's heading towards Q. And then you have some force. And then you have this angle theta. Let's drop an altitude here. Call this point S. Okay, let's say our force is along this vector. Let's call this vector D. Work then is going to be the magnitude of the force times the cosine of theta multiplied by the magnitude of d, d being the displacement. So we have this force that's being applied. We have an object that's moving from p to q. Another way to write this is the norm of f multiplied by the norm of d multiplied by cosine of theta. That should look familiar. That is another way of expressing f dotted with d. So this is the new way that we will calculate work. One thing to notice here is that you are going to end up with a constant and not a vector. So this is the way that you're going to calculate work from now on. Here's the example that we're going to do. A wagon is pulled horizontally by exerting a constant force of 10 pounds on the handle at an angle of 60 degrees. Sorry that my handwriting is so crooked. With the horizontal. How much work is done in moving the wagon 50 feet? There is a visual that I'm going to draw for you. Let's say we have our wagon here. We want to move the wagon 50 feet along the horizontal. The wagon is being pulled on a handle. That's the force. At an angle of 60 degrees with the horizontal. So what we wrote above is work is going to be the force vector dotted with the displacement vector. 
D, we already know. D is just moving the wagon that 50 feet horizontally. So D will be the vector 50 comma zero. The force vector, we don't know yet, but that one we can figure out. We talked about one way to find a vector or to express a vector is its magnitude multiplied by a direction. So the magnitude is 10, that constant force of 10. The direction is going to be cosine of 60 comma sine of 60 because of that 60 degree angle. Okay, cosine of 60, 1 half multiplied by that 10 gives us 5. And then we get 5 root 3. So our work then is going to be the force vector, that 5 comma 5 root 3, dotted with the direction vector, that 50 comma 0. If you remember from yesterday, you're going to multiply the likewise components and then take the sum. So ultimately, we're going to end up with 5 times 50, which is 250 plus zero, so I'm not going to write that. So that is our work. What's the units on that? Foot pounds. So not too bad, right? There's a bunch of ways that we're going to learn to calculate work uh, this year, but that's just the first one. Any questions 